Hi friends, hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm back with another process video for HipKit Club. And uh, today uh, I'm bringing you some inspiration for the uh, weekly challenge. So this week's uh, challenge is uh, mood board inspired. So uh, for those of you who haven't uh, seen the, the August mood board, I have uh, put it in the beginning of the video. And I am playing with the um, July kits for the first time and they are so gorgeous. Um, I just love everything in these kits. And as you can see, I have fussy cut a lot of these black and white elements from one of the you know, patent papers. And uh, now I'm trying to play with them and uh, come up with some uh, design and some composition so first i thought that i would go with uh, something like this uh, to create some uh, wreaths uh, in the corners of my layout uh, for the background paper i have chosen one of the patterned papers that has a very subtle um, pattern which is uh, subtle enough for uh, all the other elements to stand out and uh, I am also adding the clear mixed media stickers that we got in uh, one of the kits and uh, I'm trying to position all the elements somehow to to make it work and I couldn't make it work. <laughs> I struggled a lot in the beginning uh, because I was uh, somehow focused on this wreath thing so uh, I played with the mixed media stickers with the titles i tried a lot of titles <laughs> and uh, yeah the the one of the problems was that uh, when you stick the clear stickers the clear mixed media stickers you are not able to unstick them anymore <laughs> they stick so well i tried it several times and but it started to tear my paper the background paper so I gave up and I had to go with what I already uh, put on it so uh, I tried and tried and finally when I uh, somehow was able to let go the idea of having a wreath on my layout uh, everything started working out so let's see how I did so yeah i tried several um titles really best summer photo um sunny summer so, um, like everything laugh <laughs> because i'm scrapping a really fun photo of my husband we bought a, a huge inflatable um, donut because we uh, really like going uh swimming on the lake and our son was like the only child child who didn't have <laughs> some some huge inflatable things uh, things so uh we did we decided to buy this uh donut and it was really fun because my my husband was making was posing for photographs and he was making faces and uh, we had a lot of fun so so yeah i i said uh i i just have to scrap this photo so um now I decided that I will put it in one of these uh, chipboard frames. I chose the circular one and then I'm going to use uh, some more of them in uh, different sizes uh, to create a, a big cluster uh, on top of my mixed media stickers. And yeah, now I have finally let go the idea of having a wreath and I am adding the uh, the fussy cut, um, what are they, flowers maybe, uh, under and behind my photo. Uh, I also cut uh, some of the smaller ones, so I will scatter them here and there on the layout. And now I really loved this word sunny, it is from the puffy stickers that we had in the main kit. And I'm combining it with uh, uh, these orange uh, alpha stickers. They are, I believe, from the Pocky Life kit. I tried also these uh, pink stickers, um, but I didn't end up using them in the end. I left them for quite a long time 
uh, on my layout but uh, in the end I decided to only stick with the sunny days now I'm going through the um, through the die cuts from the main kit I think and I'm adding quite a lot of them a palm leaf a palm tree uh, there, there is this uh, cute sun at the top uh, that will end up uh, on a different place uh, I'm trying some that will not end up uh, on my layout I added a couple of um, phrase die cuts one says nothing but good vibes um, the second one says so happy and the third one says sun kissed and yeah I'm going through all the embellishments and trying what will work uh, with the, what I already have on my page uh, I really love these acetate mandalas and I will use um, two or three of them I believe I will bag the one of the circular or two of the circular frames um, one with the black or is it black I think it's um, very dark blue so one with the very dark blue and one with the white small mandala I will not use those um, big ones I I decided I didn't like it there so I saved them for another layout and yeah now I'm really playing with uh, um, with the frames and um, what should I put there I will pop up my photo with uh, some foam uh, dots to make it uh, e even with all with everything that will be behind it I wanted to pack this um, one of the frames, the, the bigger one, with uh, one of the patterned papers because I just love all the all the patterned papers this this month. So I was going through them, to, uh, trying to find the best the best one, and I really loved uh, this one because it had a really subtle pattern but beautiful colors, and I thought it would work really really well with. Uh, everything on my layout so I will just stick it on the paper cut around it and stick it behind my photo and it will also uh, serve as a place for some other embellishments later on okay so now I bend the parts of uh, of these fussy cut elements a little bit so they have uh, like they add uh, more dimension to my layout and uh, I didn't end up using all of my fussy cut uh, pieces um, that would be definitely too much so I added just a bunch of them and I really like the black and white uh, against all the color and it also goes very well with the, the masculine layout it is a, <laughs> not a typical masculine layout because my husband is wearing a pink donut <laughs> but still yeah I just love the summer vibe of, of this page so yeah okay so now I'm playing with the Sun trying to see where it could go and it will end up on a totally different place Now I will use uh, this uh, nice puffy camera and I will try a couple more of these puffy stickers but I don't think I will use any of them. It was starting to get really busy over there so yeah I will use this, uh, um, this cute uh, cheaper circle. now I'm playing with the idea of uh, adding some uh, patterned paper behind my, my background paper yeah here it goes and I totally love this position for my son uh, it's just the best place I was so happy when I when I found it do you know the feeling <laughs> when you find the best spot for some of your embellishments 
so this was it okay I am adding this uh, palm tree I'm also adding uh, a foam square behind some of the die cuts to raise them up a little bit to add it a little more dimension I fuzzy cut some of these uh, blue leaves to add some more texture to the, those all those layers and now I'm just sticking all my die cuts popping in popping them popping them up a little bit this is looking now so I'm going to <laughs> do this I tore uh, my background paper from both sides and I loved 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 the pattern that was from the other side and the color that was showing when I uh, curled the edges so I curled them quite a lot because I really wanted them to stand out and then I wasn't sure about that um, colorful patterned paper behind I really love it but I just wasn't sure so I, I started like uh, experimenting and oh I, oh I love this one so I immediately thought yeah this is exactly the patterned paper I need to put behind my layout so totally sticking it there and I really love how it adds another pop of color and some really nice pattern but it's not like interfering with the with what is important on the layout which is mainly the photo right so <laughs> yeah I'm just uh, adding some more foam dots and now I thought that uh, the layout was was a little bit like the design the, all the elements were a little bit uh, more like uh, towards up and left so I decided to add uh, a little something something to the bottom right but before that <laughs> I totally forgot I decided to hand stitch the centers of my uh, flower, flowers let's call them flowers so I, I used um, I think three shades of uh, or three colors of embroidery thread and I did this so I stitched from the center to the corners of that circle in the middle and I added them yeah around the photo and then I stitched one more and now the cluster that I was talking about comes to the bottom right corner to make the layout a little bit more balanced okay and that's it my friends I hope you liked this process video that in it inspired you maybe uh, check out the hip kit club website I will leave it down below in the description box uh, the July kits are totally amazing and there are also august kits which are even maybe more amazing so definitely check them out uh, i hope you will play along with us uh, in the weekly challenge and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope to see you in some of my next videos have a great day bye